In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most amazing experience in NeoVim with auto completions and snippets with only a few plugins. After this, you'll be able to tab your way through amazing VS Code snippets in any file, see documentation and LSP completion sources pop up like magic, and more. And to start things off, I have a bit of a surprise for you, a little something extra to make our NeoVim config really pop. So stick around, subscribe, and let's get into it. Welcome to episode five of NeoVim for Noobs and everyone else really. In this series, we're creating a modern and modular configuration that supercharges NeoVim and makes it even better than most IDEs and text editors. If you missed the first few episodes, I suggest you go back and watch those videos first so you can understand where we are with our config. But either way, let's recap what we've done so far. So far, what we have here is an amazing modern and modular configuration for NeoVim. We have all the goodies, like we have a great LSP configuration here. And in the last episode, we used none LS to actually wrap our CLI tools like formatters, diagnostic tools, things like that into their own sort of generalized LSPs. And we were able to format our files with null LS, rather none LS, but null LS is a thing underneath it. So uh, I don't know, it's a whole thing. Check out the other video if you wanna know what's going on there. But either way, I'm excited for our configuration. We have a really great setup, a really great foundation, and I'm ready to finish this thing off with some amazing functionality with auto completion and snippets. So let's get into it. But first, I have a little goodie for you, a little surprise, a little treat, if you will. If we open up our NeoVim, you may notice that we have this amazing looking dashboard. This is alpha.lua. I got this from someone on Twitter, actually, Gambir Sharma. He shared it with me and this is amazing. It blew my mind. It looks so pretty. I love it. Typically, I'm not big on dashboards, but I really love how this looked and I'm enjoying it so far. So in this dashboard, the default for what we have right now, it just shows like our latest files and some other things. I'm going to open up the dashboard configuration and just show you really quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. You can check out the repository where everything exists. I'm going to put it in the description of this video so you can check Check that out whenever you want but essentially we use alpha.nvim which requires web dev icons a lot of things do so we already have it and we're using the startify theme for our dashboard that's what gives us the latest files we've used amongst a couple other things and this is where the real magic happens this header is so cool this is i don't know how this is generated i've gone i've looked at a few different tools like figlet and some other things couldn't figure it out Thank you, Gambier, for showing this to me. Um, it's amazing. And that's all you need. With that setup, you have this amazing splash screen anytime you open NeoVim. I just thought it was cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So there you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back into some real stuff here. Auto completions. Okay, so we're ready to get into auto completion and snippets in our NeoVim config, but I gotta come clean here. This is a really complicated topic in NeoVim. There isn't a set standard for snippets and completion like how there is for LSP functionality, nor is there a simple plugin that makes things easy to understand like how null LS wraps CLI tools in an LSP and makes things easy with built-in tooling. Auto completion and snippets require a hodgepodge of plugins to get the functionality we need for our config. I'll try and go over each plugin in more detail, but for now, let me just lay out the list of plugins we're looking at for this functionality. Number one is NVIM CMP. This is the completion engine for NeoVim. This is the plugin that will show the completion list as you type, but this is only for completions. It still requires third-party plugins for sources like snippets, for example. Next up is Lua Snip. Lua Snip is a snippet engine for NeoVim written in Lua. We're gonna use Lua Snip as both a source of snippets for NVIM CMP and as the snippet expansion tool for NVIM CMP. You'll see how this works in a second. Next up is CMP Lua Snip. This is Lua Snip's completion source for NVIM CMP. From my understanding, and I could be wrong here, this plugin is responsible for supplying NVIM CMP with a list of possible snippets while you type, then Lua Snip will expand them. Then we're gonna install Friendly Snippets, which is a collection of VS Code-like snippets that can be loaded by Lua Snip. Essentially adding awesome VS Code snippets to Lua Snip, we will demonstrate this later. And finally, CMP NVIM LSP, a completion source for NVIM CMP that displays the built-in LSP completions offered by whatever LSP is attached to the buffer. I believe this adds an additional layer to LSP sources, giving them the ability to report completions to NVIM CMP. <sighs> okay, 
That is a crazy amount of mixed functionality amongst many different plugins. Let's check out NVIMP CMP and see if we can make some sense of this. There's a great config in this repository that I'm essentially gonna copy and paste into our own. So let's get into it and I'll try to explain along the way. Okay, so here we are with NVIMP CMP. It is a completion engine for NeoVim written in Lua. And the sources for these completions are installed from external repositories and sourced. Now, you could look through the documentation and try and get a better idea of what's happening under the hood, but essentially the way I see it is this is the thing that powers the window that you see while you're typing where you can select snippets and completions. And there's an amazing recommended configuration here. So let's try and copy some of this into our configuration. We can open up our config look at our awesome dashboard and just think, man, this is really cool. And then let's navigate to Lua plugins and create a new file called completions.lua. We can open that up, make sure we are returning a table. And the first thing we want in here is the NVIMP CMP short URL here. And that's this one. So let's copy and paste this right here. And then essentially let's just copy and paste this configuration in our config setup. So we do config equals function. And we can do essentially all of this stuff right here. Okay, got it? Good. I'm just kidding. Let's go over it. First, let's format our file. Thank you, none ls. And then now let's go over each piece of this setup and try and explain what's going on here. First thing we have is the snippet argument. And in this argument, there's an expand argument, which is a function. Essentially what this is, I think, is the piece that when you click on a snippet that you want to expand, it runs this function. Now for us, because we talked about using Lua snip, let's just uncomment this line here. That is Lua snip. And we're going to use Lua snip as the snippet expansion function for this setup, if that makes sense. Cool. So Lua snip is our snippet engine, and that's what we're going to use to expand our snippets. Great. Next is the window section. This is just how the window looks for the auto completions. I like this bordered window look. So I'm going to uncomment these lines as well. Next up is the mapping. This is the most straightforward part of this configuration. It's basically the key binds for scrolling through docs, uh, completing a snippet and confirming the snippet, thus um, expanding it. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to leave it the way it is because it's pretty straightforward and I like it. And then next up is something that's also a little bit confusing. We have our config sources. Now I'm going to, believe it or not, comment out this first section because we're not going to handle the LSP stuff yet. So we're going to do that in a second because there's a little bit more to explain there. Dash dash. Jeez, forget how to type. And this section right here is for vSnip. We do not use vSnip. We're using Lua Snip. So let's uncomment the Lua Snip line and get rid of the other two commented out lines. There we go. Okay, so now this is our initial configuration, but we are missing something, which is if you've caught on Lua Snip. We don't have that yet. So now let's go back to our configuration, the example configuration, and install Lua Snip. So for Lua Snip users, they say you want to install Lua Snip and completion Lua Snip. Okay, let's do that. So this should be another table here. And then above that, let's create another table for Lua Snip and then another table here for, actually, you know what? I'm gonna add that as a dependency. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's delete to start, delete to open quote. And this is gonna be Lua Snip. And within Lua Snip, I want my dependencies block to include CMP Lua Snip. CMP Lua Snip is the completion engine for Lua Snip. So whenever you select a Lua Snip snippet, completion Lua Snip is the thing that will then ex complete that snippet, if that makes sense. So it seems like there's multi layers here, right? Um, if we look at the configuration, it seems like NVIMP CMP is deferring to Lua Snip to expand snippets, and then Lua Snip itself is, ex is deferring to CMP Lua Snip to expand snippets. It's very confusing the way this is set up unless I'm getting this wrong, which I could be, that's possible. So now we have Lua Snip and completion Lua Snip installed. We need one more thing, which is the actual snippets that the Lua Snip snippet engine will use. What we want to use here from Lua Snip's own documentation, if we want to load the cool VS code snippets, we can use friendly snippets. So this is the package we want to use with Lua Snip to be able to load all these snippets. These are the ones that come from VS Code or at least are similar to the ones in VS Code. So this is a community driven repository for all kinds of snippets in all programming languages. Cool, seems pretty good. 
So now we have many different pieces. We have Lua Snip, Completion Lua Snip, and Friendly Snippets. Now we only have one more thing to do, and we have to add this line, which adds the VS Code snippets from Friendly Snippets to Lua Snip. So let's do that here. Now, if we quit NeoVim and reload, um, my friendly snippets package is already installed, so lazy isn't going to open, but we can see here that friendly snippets is installed. So otherwise you would have seen it install here, but it's already installed in my system right now. So now if we go to completions and we type function, we can see that we have snippets, a snippet window opened. So what's happening here? The way I see it, what's happening is we have NVIM CMP opening up a window and all the data within this window is driven by Lua Snip and friendly snippets. And then when we go down to Lua Snip and hit enter, it is completed by CMP Lua Snip. Interesting, that's really cool. So now we have snippet expansion and snippet support and auto completion for all the major languages within NeoVim. Awesome. Okay, so now that we have the main foundation of our snippet functionality in NeoVim right now, we can add more sources to our snippet completion configuration. The main one that I wanna add in this video is NVIM LSP. Now, NVIM LSP is an NVIM CMP source for NeoVim's built-in language server client. Now, this plugin is really interesting because essentially what it does is it reaches out to any LSPs attached in your current buffer and will ask it for completion recommendations. That LSP will give it completions and then CMP LSP will also expand those completions. If we look at the code, we look at the source and we actually check text document, we can see that right here, what's happening is on completion, this plugin is reaching out to the LSP using the text document completion function on the LSP. So this is the thing that's actually running the completions with NVIM CMP LSP, or sorry, I said that wrong. CMP NVIM LSP. It's a lot of plugins. It's really hard to remember. So let's get this installed. There's a couple of steps for this one. Do you guys hear the sirens in the background? I think they're after me. This Lua config is too hot right now. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that this package is installed on our system. Now we do that by going to our completions file and making sure we have just one more entry here. And that entry is the short URL for CMP NVIM LSP. We quit NVIM, we reload it, Lazy installs it, yada, yada, yada. And we see that we have completion NVIM LSP installed. Okay, the next step. We actually have to broadcast these capabilities now to the language servers so that the language servers are set up on each buffer with all the configuration they have, including the completion configuration that this new plugin offers. Now, what we do here is we want to set a local variable in our LSP config, because this is where all of our LSP stuff lives, so it makes sense. Inside of NVIM LSP config, we have our config setup. We want to set capabilities to acquire CMP NVIM LSP's default capabilities. Now, inside of every language server that we set up, we want to add the capabilities. Look at this completion already working, that's pretty sick to every language server that gets attached to a buffer. Cool, okay, so now if we quit NeoVim, reopen it, if we open up LSP config and type FU again, now we see we have a couple of different snippets. This one right here is Lua snip, and this one right here is the LSP snippet that was given to us from CMP NVIM LSP. So this is actually reaching out to the language server and grabbing the completion information. When we hit enter, it hits that text document complete function on the LSP, and this is what the LSP is giving us. So I think this is great just in case you don't have a snippet for something in Lua Snip, but there is that functionality in whatever LSP and language you're working within in NeoVim. So now let's test this out with another project. This is a JavaScript project. So let's see what we get for JavaScript. If I start typing function, look at all of this. This is some amazing auto completion. And there's all this documentation and everything. This is great. These are all snippets, I believe from Lua Snip. Some of these I'm sure that are mixed in are also from the LSP server, from TS server. And if we try to expand one of these snippets, let's see what we get. Boom, function, name, something. That is freaking awesome. 
now let's go to a different one. Let's just see. <laughs> let's just see what we got here. So we can go to a Ruby project. I know that I do not have an LSP installed for Ruby. Apparently there is one I've been getting told on the internet. I was not aware of that, but I don't have it installed in my system. So let's go to a Ruby project, get brown tree type graph. This is a Ruby project. So if we go into a controller and we start typing def for a function, these Lua snippets are popping up with documentation, at least for the snippets for Ruby on Rails. And then I could expand this. Awesome. This is amazing. So with a few plugins now, we have auto completion, snippets, and LSP snippets and auto completion. We have essentially all the functionality that you would get from VS Code pretty much out of the box for every major language in NeoVim. This essentially is the perfect setup. I think we've done it, fellas. This is the holy grail. Now, this part of the setup is actually very confusing and I had a tough time figuring out how to explain this because to be honest, there's so many moving pieces, it's hard to explain. But essentially, we install four-ish plugins and we get all this amazing functionality. We start typing and we see auto-completions. We see stuff from LSPs. We see stuff from Lua Snip. This is awesome. It really is amazing. And this is everything that we need here. To be completely honest, this is all you need and this is all I'm going to use for my professional development. As a day job, I am a developer, believe it or not. And this is what I'm going to use now as my daily driver configuration. So if you followed along with this series and you set up your configuration just like me in this series, then guess what? You, you and I are using the same series. It's like we're looking at the same moon together. It's so romantic. We're doing this together and I love it. Next episode is going to be on debuggers. If you're a debugger kind of guy, come and check that one out. Either way, subscribe. Also, I currently have COVID. So I hope you're happy with this episode because it was hard to make.